All right, good morning guys. Derek here from Simonet Nutrition. And I'm out here this morning at the park, warming up before a big push day. And it looks crazy out here. Like, look at that, no fog there. And then boom, just a wall of fog. It's really, really cool. So I thought today I'd do a little bit of a vlog of what I eat in a day and bring you guys along because it's been a while since I did one back here in Parksville. I've done a few Q&A since I was in California, but it's taken me a little while to get back into doing vlogs here because, I don't know, it's winter time and there's not a whole lot of stuff to do outside here in the winter. But today it's beautiful, the sun is shining, it's a push day for me today, so I'm going to go around, warm up my shoulders, warm up my wrists, my arms. I'm getting a bit of a late start today. You guys know I usually like to work out fasted, but it is late morning by now and I don't want to go through my whole workout being fasted at this point so I brought a little snack and I'll show you guys what that is in a few minutes because I know a lot of you guys have been asking me what do you eat before your workouts if you don't work out fasted so I'll show you guys in a couple minutes at first I gotta warm up So they have this little sort of outdoor gym here and it's pretty useless for the most part but there is a little pull up bar and dip bars over there which I'll use in a second. But first I want to show you guys this. It's like this little pop up library that they have here so people can come and like leave their books um, or take a book if you want. So it's pretty cool. I always like to check out and see what they have here. We've left a lot of books in here. It's always nice when we're done with like a nutrition book about veganism or something. Leave it in here you know. You never know when you're going to plant the seed. Ooh. Oh yeah, just in case you need a Cuisinart instruction booklet for your grill. <laughs> Funny. Nothing for me today. So here's the piece of equipment that I like to use, um, like the dip bars there, and then you can put your elbows here and do like leg raises and L-sits and stuff. But this pull-up bar that they put in, the ends of it here are so angled downwards. It is so uncomfortable to do chin-ups like that. I don't know why they build bars like that. Like if it just went straight across, it'd be so much better. Even a little bit of a downward angle, but come on, this is just crazy. discouraging because the way that the bars are angled when you pull like that it's so hard to get your chin up to the bar you just feel like you're doing like half reps it just doesn't feel right <sighs> Man, it may be cold out here, but I am feeling the sunlight. It feels so good. We get a lot of rain and a lot of cloud this time of year up here in the Pacific Northwest. And anytime the sun comes out, it just feels like heaven. So I'm gonna show you guys what I brought to eat before my workout. Just something small, just to let my body know, hey, we're not starving. There's more calories coming. <laughs> and just give myself a little bit of energy. So, you guys probably aren't surprised. A couple of medjool dates, but these have a surprise inside. So inside them, if you can see, there's a bit of almond butter in there. Of course you could use peanut butter as well, cashew butter. Sunflower seed butter is actually a really underrated nut butter. Well, I guess it's a seed butter, but yeah, sunflower butter. It's really cheap. You can buy it organic really easily and it's really, really tasty. But uh, I had a bit of almond butter left in the fridge today, so this is really nice. There's people looking at me, talking to myself here. They think I'm crazy. You're the crazy one. So the reason I like this is because it's a really, really dense source of energy and calories. 
it's not um, gonna fill me up too much. It won't have a bunch of stuff in my stomach, like fiber and stuff that I have to digest. Although, dates are really rich in fiber. I mean, there's not a whole lot of volume here. So, I find it just perfect and it just perks me right up. Gives me a little bit of energy if I do have those workouts later in the day. The fog's really rolling in, it's crazy. All right, I'm gonna go to another part of the park, practice some handstands, let my food digest a little bit, and then hit the gym, go hard, get home, make a smoothie bowl, and then I think tonight I'm gonna make a recipe from my ebook that I just released that so many of you guys have purchased, so thank you so much for that. Well, haven't decided what I'm gonna make tonight, I'll have to see what's in the fridge, but it'll be something from the ebook. These machines are pretty funny. There's a big seniors population here in Parksville, like the average age of people that live here is 60 to 62 years old, depending on what part of the community you're talking about. The average age for all of Canada is like 40 years old. So you can imagine like how many seniors there are here. It's just crazy. But I do love it here. It's nice and quiet, peaceful, pretty relaxed. Not a lot of traffic, which is really nice. Generally, I can do most of these uh, with one arm. And it actually does give you quite a good workout, but the range of motion isn't huge. <laughs> If I do this first try and you guys aren't subscribed yet, you gotta subscribe, that's the deal. <sighs> okay, pressure's on, Derek. <sighs> oh man, <sighs> I was working for it too. Uh, you guys don't ask to subscribe, but I would still like you to and I'm gonna try again. <laughs> All right, here we go <laughs> Not my best <laughs> Thank you <laughs> She liked it Thank you, mystery lady with the dog. All right, I'm gonna head to the gym now. It's time to get a real workout in. I'm not gonna film my full workout, but I will film some cool parts of it if I think you guys might be interested. But I promise I will do like a full push day, pull day, and my leg day soon. I'll get Crystal to film it, and then I'll just like voice over and talk about what I'm doing. Holy, look at it now. Completely fogged in. It's really spooky over that way. That's crazy. So we got Crystal already at the gym here. What are you working on today? Everything. No, shoulders <laughs> and back. Shoulders and back. Interesting split. <laughs> well, I don't know. I just. <laughs> <laughs> hey, there's no wrong answer there. <laughs> Gotta represent. You're strong enough for weighted dips. Get into them, they're awesome. I love to do them as drop sets, so there goes 25 pounds.
So I think that's probably good for today. Definitely pretty good workout. Always throwing a little bit off when I'm trying to like film and stuff, but it was still good. So let's do a quick midwinter physique check. If you guys don't want to see my shirt off, skip ahead like 20 seconds or so. <laughs> All right, so that was a bit awkward. Someone walked in on my little striptease there, <laughs> but that's the life of a vlogger. So let's make this smoothie bowl. I'm gonna base it off a recipe in my ebook called the Blueberry Blast. I'll show you guys that right now. So there's the recipe from the ebook that we're gonna be basing this off of, and uh, it's gonna be pretty close. Not exactly the same, but it will be close. I don't have any coconut water, but because we're making this a smoothie bowl, I'm gonna be reducing the liquid quite a bit, which there are instructions in here on how to do, um, but I'm gonna be using almond milk instead. So what we have here is like pretty much one and a half frozen bananas and one full really ripe banana, two cups of frozen blueberries, we have two tablespoons of hemp seeds, three pitted medjool dates, and then I'm gonna be throwing in some cilantro because I love the taste of it with this smoothie bowl. It tastes so good and you guys know that I'm a fan of herbs, super good for you. And then we're also gonna put in some ground cinnamon. Something about having cinnamon with blueberries is so good together. And then I'm also going to be using this Perform protein powder from Vivo Life. So I know that you guys know already, but I'm an ambassador for these guys. Um, and if you guys wanna get 10% off on your purchase, use Derek10 in the discount code and uh, it'll help you out. And it's definitely like worth a try. My favorite protein powder on the market. The, my favorite thing about it is that it digests so easily. I've had lots of trouble with other ones in the past making me bloated uh, or other things where this one is just no problems, just perfect digestion. So that's why I really like it. And they got the taste and the flavors spot on, especially with this one and the salted maca caramel. Whoop, so good. So there will definitely be links below in the description box if you guys wanna support me by purchasing the ebook or you guys wanna try out the Vivo Life protein powder or any of their other products. They have like maca, green tea, they have BCAA that's like 100% plant-based, which is really cool because we know a lot of BCAAs are made from duck feathers and even human hair. Uh, so definitely check it out down below and let's get on with this smoothie bowl. I'm hungry. Get my trusty and very well used Vitamix. When you get these things, they're actually like completely see-through and I've just used mine so much that it's like opaque now. So I actually like to chop the dates up a little bit uh, because it helps them blend in the smoother, especially because these ones are a little bit harder than the ones we usually get. So not only does cinnamon taste awesome in the smoothie, but it definitely like ups the amount of antioxidants that are in there as well. So really good thing to have. And then the protein powder, not necessary, but it definitely brings it all together and upping the protein can definitely help make some gains. And then just a splash of the almond milk here. We don't want it too watery because it is gonna be a smoothie bowl. So this plunger right here, I should mention this, this is what makes the Vitamix so superior to the Blendtec. The Blendtec's a really good machine and if you have that and you wanna buy it good, you'll love it, you won't regret it, but this is what really makes the Vitamix amazing. So I just added some store-bought granola on top and then some shredded coconut. I uh, definitely could make healthier granola than this and I think I'm going to in an upcoming video because I've been like so addicted to granola in these smoothie bowls but I know the ones in the stores aren't the best. It's usually just like oats, sugar, there's usually oil in there as well. So I know I can do better than this, keep it whole foods, keep it delicious, so I'm gonna do that in the next few videos. If you guys are interested in it, definitely let me know down below you wanna see a uh, granola recipe, because I can certainly do that. I'm gonna get into this and do some work. Mm. Do you wanna try a bite? Girlfriend tax. It's like candy. That's so good. So once I finish this, and work a little bit. I'm actually gonna make some green juice because we have tons of greens in the fridge that need using up and I haven't been eating as many greens as I should be lately so I definitely wanna get some green juices in me and then I'll make a good dinner. So it's probably gonna be a two meal day but that's what most of my days are like. I usually eat two big meals throughout the day and then maybe a little bit of snacking in between or some green juice. Uh, so here we go. I'll see you guys 
When I'm done this, So I have everything chopped and prepared and I'm making juice for a couple days here because I am lazy and I don't like making it all the time so this helps me drink it more consistently and it does keep for 24 to 48 hours especially if you have a slow juicer like one of these Wow, so that little juicer there just chewed up over two liters, like well over two liters of greens and celery cucumber for me. So that's pretty awesome. So shout out again to these guys, Ventre. They sent me this juicer just uh, because they said they liked what I was doing and they said I can use it and mention it if I'd like. So I'm mentioning it here because they are awesome. I'll put a link down below where you guys can get one of these. So they mentioned something about doing a giveaway with me before I went away to California, but things were really hectic. I was working on getting my ebook out. I was heading away to California, uh, and I told them like we got to put it off for at least a few weeks. Uh, so hopefully that's still available from them. Uh, I'll definitely be letting you guys know. Let me know in the comments down below if you'd be interested in me doing a giveaway to all you guys, and you could win one of these juicers. So what I'm gonna do now is put a bunch of it into jars here. I'm gonna drink some of it now, keep some of it for later. So one of the keys when you want to keep juice is uh, obviously put it into an airtight container as soon as you can, but try and fill it up right to the top so there's very little air left in the container and that'll help keep it fresh for longer. So let's fill these puppies up. Mm. Man, so good. There is nothing like a fresh pressed green juice to wake you up and just make you feel so alive again. So I'm gonna put lids on these, put them in the fridge right away, and drink the rest of this, get back to work for a little while. You guys have been going crazy in that members Facebook group that we created, the Simnet Nutrition Community. So everyone, if you buy the ebook, you get access to that and it's already been really awesome. There's so many of you in there that are helping me answer questions, sharing Dr. Gregor links from nutritionfacts.org and um, just supporting everyone. So it's really cool to see and everyone's sharing their stories about how they got to where they are, uh, which is awesome and I love hearing that. So I gotta go do more work, drink some green juice and then I'm gonna be back here and I think tonight I'm gonna make a macaroni and that cheese sauce that I have in the ebook. It's so good and I've been craving it because everyone's been posting pictures of it on the Facebook group there that they've been making. So I definitely want to make it tonight. All right, so we're back in the dinner for kitchen. For kitchen? We're back in the dinner for kitchen. What? Okay, we're back in the kitchen for dinner this time. And here's what we're going to make. So this is the mac and cheese and peas from the recipe ebook. So there's the cheese sauce that we're gonna be making. This is unbelievable. Like you could just basically bathe in this. It's so good. So if you guys wanna copy that down, you get a free recipe. All right, so the recipe starts with two cups of steamed cauliflower. So we'll get two cups of cauliflower going here. So you guys will have to tell me in the comments down below, like I thought cups were like an international measurement of food like volume, but apparently some people that are from like Europe and the UK are like, I don't know what this is talking about, it's not in metric units. So there's definitely lots of calculators online where you can check, but like this is a cup. It's like the size of your fist. Um, I, I honestly did not realize that that wasn't like really common. So two cups um, of cauliflower, make sure it's really pressed in there. So there's one cup. We'll make a little extra, but we'll call that just over two cups. So the recipe also calls for a quarter cup of soaked cashews. Um, and it's best to soak them for like two hours so they get nice and soft. But if you don't have time to do that, which I obviously don't right now, uh, you can just add some like really hot, almost boiling water to the cashews and that'll soften them up in about five or 10 minutes. So until the cauliflower is done steaming, 
and those have soaked for a few minutes. Uh, we pretty much just wait. I mean, you could cook the pasta right now, but I always overcook the pasta if I try cooking it while I'm doing other things. So I'm gonna make a quick salad while that's happening. So I know you guys love the sound of chopping on the cutting board, so we're gonna chop up some veggies. So if the cauliflower is soft, it's ready to go. So you're ready to make the sauce. So I think at this point it's safe to add the pasta now. So I'll add a couple servings of that. Ah, whatever, the whole thing. <laughs> and while that's cooking, we'll blend up the sauce. So here's everything you need for the sauce. It's pretty simple, but man, is it ever delicious. So we have the two cups of steamed cauliflower there, quarter cup of raw cashews, half a cup of nutritional yeast, a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar, quarter cup of water, and then we have the spices here. So for the spices, it is a quarter teaspoon of salt, quarter teaspoon of turmeric, one quarter teaspoon of dried thyme, and then we also have a half a teaspoon of garlic powder in there too. Oh yeah, almost forgot, and you need one pitted medjool date. I just realized the recipe only calls for a half a pitted medjool date, so this is a pretty big one, so I will only use half, but if you're using smaller dates, I guess you could use a whole one. And then whenever I'm making sauces, I always like to add the water like a little bit at a time, so I'll start out with half of this water, and then if I want it to be a little bit thinner as we go, I'll add some more. <laughs> So there it's all done. You can see it's nice and thick. And let's taste it. That sauce is so damn good. Definitely let me know in the comments down below if you guys are down with it or if you've tried to make it because it is unreal. I had time in a, like a vegan macaroni and cheese one day at a restaurant somewhere and I couldn't pick out the flavor and I'm like, what is this taste? So I had to ask the server and they told me what it was and I was like, man, I know I have to duplicate this recipe. So I don't know exactly what they had in it, but I know that I like mine better and it's unbelievable. So it's time to strain that pasta and get this meal together. Oh yeah, I almost forgot about the peas. How I like to cook the peas is I add them to the boiling water with the pasta, like just before the pasta is done because you really only have to thaw frozen peas. So I'll just add a cup of peas to the pasta right now and then I'll strain it. And I like to add a little bit more time just at the end. It's nice to get those little green bursts of flavor in there as well. All right, so I'm gonna end the vlog here. Go and enjoy my dinner. This cheese sauce is so good. I can't wait to eat this. Uh, it's really good on potatoes as well. I'm just gonna throw it out there uh, So if you guys want more recipes like this definitely check the link in the description below That's where you can buy my ebook It is on sale until Sunday, so we have 20% off. It's only $11 until this Sunday Definitely don't miss that opportunity if you guys want to buy it um, Thank you guys for watching this vlog and supporting me. I really do appreciate it This is really cool what we've all built together, and I'm so happy to be sharing my life with you guys So I will see you guys on the next video. Thanks again. Wow. <laughs>